Today we are talking about the possible end of sealed investing, maybe? Check out this video. So this is a video from Industrial Inspection on YouTube, and this is a CT scan of a uh, pre-release uh, Evolutions uh, Pokemon box. It's like sealed and everything. And you can see right here, I mean, that's the 3D rendering right there. But what's crazy about this is they can see all the way deep down in there. Like this is like halfway through uh, one of the cards that's in there. So what does this mean for uh, investing? What does this mean for collecting? Is this the end of sealed investing? Um, I'm going to say it's not, <clears throat> but this is a problem. This is going to be a very big problem, but the reality of it is, is that most people aren't going to have these machines, so they're very expensive. Um, there was another guy who did one with, uh, he bought a machine for 1500 bucks, and he spent a lot of time fixing it, but the point of it is is that the barrier to entry to do this kind of thing is going to be very expensive and not everybody's going to be able to do it we don't know um how it's going to work with like a whole booster box but i'm sure that they'll be able to get that figured out as well now it's not like this is really something new to um pokemon cards in general anything if you guys are familiar with the scene people have been weighing packs for years you can all the way back to the base set packs now, obviously, this isn't something that I condone. I don't think that you should be um, weighing packs, especially selling weighed packs. Uh, with a few exceptions, I do think that, like, for example, if you were to buy, like, if it was me and I was buying, for example, a base set pack that was listed as heavy, because if you're going to spend that much money and it's heavy, you're going to want to pull a hollow. Um, I would want to weigh it just to confirm the weight. Uh, what gets me a little uh, worried uh, with the weighing thing is, like you've seen possibly at these conventions when they say unweighed. How do you know that they're unweighed? And then now this is going to open up the whole can of worms of how do you know it's unscanned? <laughs> so I think that if this becomes a rampant problem that the Pokemon company will have to possibly do something, put something in the packs or in the boxes that's able to block. I don't know if that's even possible or at least make it more difficult. However, that doesn't really change the packs and boxes that are already on the market that are already out there. So keep in mind that like there's so many sealed boxes like Evolving Skies. Can you imagine? Can you guys imagine scanning Evolving Skies boxes just to see that if the Moombreon is in there or not. So, um, yeah, that's going to be wild. Uh, but currently, you know, it's not really like you guys have to worry about that because there, there's not enough uh, people out there doing this yet. It's very, 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 very few. But, um, you know, this kind of thing has been uh, also around. It can be a good thing, too. Um, if you guys watched... Uh, the King of Collectibles show on Netflix recently. Uh, they did a, something similar with an iPhone. It was a sealed original iPhone box. And they they scanned it to verify the contents. Because if you're going to buy a sealed box, um, it's a little different, obviously, than Pokemon cards because you, you're, you're not supposed to know what's in there. But they were able to confirm that one of the boxes was indeed fake and they could see exactly what was in there. And uh, the other one of the other boxes, which I think was worth like 20 grand or something like that, um, that it was indeed real with all the original everything in there, the charger and all that stuff. So the headphones, like, so there is a place for this in collectibles. I just, uh, I don't know if there's a place for it in cards, but you know, um, because, but also the other side of the coin, like I was saying before is that, uh, for what, for the weighing, um, of the base set packs, if you're buying, like, uh, say, a base set, especially like first edition um, booster box sealed, obviously, see, that's where it starts. Like, you're going to want to know that that's legit. Like, also, if you guys are familiar, I think it was 2020 when Logan Paul got scammed out of those base set boxes and they were like army men cards in there and not Pokemon cards. So scanning would have been a way to see, uh, at least if you're not going deep, you could at least scan the first few 
cards in there, first few packs, and see. Um, you might get some spoilers of what's in there, but you can verify that they are indeed Pokemon cards, and hopefully maybe be, be able to determine that they're sealed. So it's it's pretty, like it's pretty controversial. I don't think it really has a, a place, but people are going to do it. Um, it's not like I'm going to be going out trying to buy a CT machine for 1500 bucks and then fixing it. It's not like I'm going to be doing that. And 99.9% .9 of people aren't. But I would be interested in hearing your guys' opinion. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys think this is good, bad, or you just don't know what to think yet. But that's kind of going to do it for this one, guys. It was just a shorter little video, just some more recent news that I just kind of wanted to touch on, make you guys aware if you weren't already aware. And if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And like I said, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of this. That's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.